now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends, welcome back to a weekly update session on current banking in financial awareness. Here, these banking updates I am covering between 22nd March to 31st March, which will be useful for your all upcoming banking exams. Friends, you can also download this lecture PDF from our Telegram channel. So, this Telegram channel link I have given in the description section. Now friends, let's begin our session. So, before moving forward, uh, friends, one reminder is you watch full video and don't miss and don't skip any question. Now, let's start with our first question. Now, the question says, which bank has become India's first bank to launch an instant EMI facility on an internet banking platform? I'll repeat question once again. Which bank has become India's first bank to launch an instant EMI facility? Instant EMI facility, which is our platform, internet banking platform. Now, let's see the options. Options are A. SBI B. Access Bank C. ICIC Bank D. Union Bank of India E. None of this. Friends, here right answer is option C. It is ICIC Bank. Yes, ICIC Bank has become India's first bank to launch this as instant EMI facility on internet banking platform. So, not in branch platform, it is on internet banking platform. So, this ICIC bank is partnership with Buildesk and Rojor Pay. So, these two are Buildesk and Rojor Pay, these payment platforms. So, this ICIC bank has partnership with these two companies, Buildesk and Rojor Pay. They launched an instant EMI facility that name they kept as EMI at Internet Banking. So that facility, that EMI facility name they are calling as EMI at Internet Banking. So you remember here ICIC Bank and it is first instant EMI facility on Internet Bank platform. So that platform name they are calling as EMI at Internet Banking. So these three points you need to remember. Now when it comes to static part of ICIC Bank, ICIC Bank in its headquarters it is Mumbai. And ICIC Bank present MD and CEO Sandeep Bakshi. Sandeep Bakshi. So, here the answer is ICIC Bank. Now, moving forward, now next question says uh, a standing external advice committee, SEAC, a standing external advice committee, advisory committee formed by Reserve Bank of India to evaluate applications of universal banks and small finance banks. That's also for a standing external advice committee as found by RBA for to evaluate applications of USBs, sorry, universal banks and small finance banks. That is, now the question is, who is head of that standing external advisory committee? The question is, who is head of that standing external advisory committee? Now, we'll see the options. Options are A. Shakti Das, B. Ashima Goel, C. Michael Debatra Patra, Debatra Patra, and D. Shamala Gopinath in none of these. Friends, RBI, Reserve Bank of India has set up a five member standing external advisory committee to evaluate, to evaluate applications of on tap, that is licensing of these universal banks and small finance banks. So, this committee will be chaired by our former deputy governor, name is Shamala Gopinath. So, his right answer is option D, it is Shamala Gopinath. So, this panel will have a tenure of three years. Friends, RBA formed a ever, um, formed advisory committee. So, for what? For evaluate applications of, for giving license of these universal banks and small finance banks. Now, for this committee, for this standing external committee, this is, this is advisory committee headed by our uh, deputy governor, former deputy governor, Shamala Gopina. Shamala Gopina. So, this committee, um, they evaluate applications of giving license to universal banks and small finance banks. Now, next question says, the Sri Lanka has signed a 10 billion yuan currency swap deal with which country? Sri Lanka has signed a 10 billion yuan currency swap deal with which country? So, in question, in question itself, we will find answer. So, now we will see the options. Options are A. Japan, B. Singapore, C. China, D. USA, E. None of these. Friends, the right, right answer is option C. It is China. Yes, friends, Sri Lanka has recently signed a currency swap deal 
with china for 3 years so this deal this 10 billion deal they um, they signed for 3 years so what is the amount the amount is 1.5 billion which is equal to uh, 1. billion 1.5 billion us dollars means it is 10 billion uh, yuans so this sri lanka has signed this uh, 10 billion yuan currency swap deal with china so with the main motive is to promote bilateral trade and direct investment between these two countries and the main point is so to promote to promote bilateral trade and direct investment between these two countries with sri lanka and china so the deal worth is is 10 billion which is equal to 1.5 billion us dollars 10 billion yuan is equal to 1.5 billion us dollars so right answer is option c china so remember sri lanka china the deal is 10 billion yuan or 1.5 uh, billion us dollars for bilateral trade between these two countries now next question says which ministry inaugurated central scrutiny center csc and investor education and protection fund authority iepa mobile app on march 25th 2021 Friends, which ministry inaugurated this uh, CSC and this IEPF mobile app? Now, which is the options? Options are A. Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, B. Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, C. Minister of Finance and Corporate Affairs, D. Ministry of Com Commerce and Industry, in and of this. Friends, the Central Security Center, CSC and Investor Education and Protection Fund Authorities, IEPF. So, they launched a mobile app recently by our Union Finance Minister, Nirma Sitaraman. So, Nirma Sitaraman has launched on behalf of our, their ministry. So, that ministry name is option C. It is option C, Ministry of Finance and Corporate Affairs. So this union minister Nimasada Raman and the Ministry of Finance and Corporation has released this mobile app. So these two initiatives have been developed by our Ministry of Corporate Affairs. So the Central Scrutiny Center and Investor Education and Protection Fund Authorities has recently released one mobile app. So this mobile app launched by our Union Finance Minister on behalf of Ministry of Finance and Corporate Affairs. So it answer is option C. Now, next question says the Reserve Bank of India imposed rupees dash penalty on Fed Bank Finance Services Limited recently. So, recently, this Fed Bank Finance Services, it is Mumbai based subsidiary company of our federal bank. So, recently, RBI imposed a penalty, a certain rupees of penalty on this Fed Bank Finance Services. Now, they are asking how much penalty they imposed on this bank. Now, which is the options? Options are A 10 lakhs, B 12 lakhs, C 15 lakhs, D 18 lakhs, in none of these. Friends, RBI imposed a rupees of 15 lakh, 15 lakh penalty on this Fed Bank Financial Services Limited. So, this penalty was imposed for not following the directions formed by, framed by the Reserve Bank of India in terms of monitoring of frauds in NBFC's direction 2016. So, RBI imposed this 15 lakhs under monitoring of frauds in NBFC's directions 2016. So, as per this uh, act, they imposed this 15 lakhs penalty in, on this uh, Fed Bank Finance Services. It is a subsidy company of our federal bank. So, as per RBI, a structural inspection of company with reference to its financial position, as on 31st March 2019, they revealed that non-compliance with directions. So, in this regard, RBI has issued a notice to the company to mention why penalty should not be imposed or for failure of following these directions by RBI. So, that is why RBI imposed 15 lakh penalty on this Fed Bank Finance Services. Now, moving forward, next question, the question says, uh, Access Securities. Access Securities has become the successful bidder to acquire the trading accounts of which stock broker is come recently. Friends, you might have seen recent news, uh, one stock brokerage company has uh, merged with Axis Securities now. So, the, they are asking that uh, company name. So, I see here, yeah, Axis Securities has become a successful bidder to acquire, to acquire. So, the trading accounts of which stock brokerage company recently. Now, we will see the options of this stock brokerage companies. Out of that, you can find right one. Now, option A, it is Motilal Oswal. 
option b carwish stock brokerage limited broken limited option c angel brokerage option d zero the option e none of these friends access securities it is a fully owned subsidiary of our access bank so access bank has become the successful bidder to acquire the sorry access securities has become the successful bidder to acquire the this trading accounts of carvi brokerage stock broken limited it is option b so it is stock broken of carvi so carvi customers can start trading with access securities to make the best of available market opportunities so to facilitate a seamless uh, transfer access securities has made the entire journey of digital and paperless so simply by clicking on link that is carvi customers can act to uh, activate their uh, now what we can say car like um, this carvi customers uh, can act to uh, can activate their trading account with access securities and have an access to a robust technology with platform uh, like uh, good uh, uh, products so now the answer is carvi stock broker is limited uh, trading accounts every account is uh, acquired by access securities now uh, carvi stock broker um, uh, shares um, customers can access to access uh, securities um, company website only so they have to do day trading to this access securities now when comes to static part this uh, b go uh, b go back is present md and ceo of this access securities this access uh, securities is it is the largest uh, player in the industry in, in terms of the stock brokerage companies mm, around access securities having a uh, 3.6 million uh, not that trading account so it is they are saying it is the largest player in the industry now moving on next question the question says saurav gar has been named as a new ceo of which the new ceo of which government organization now which is the options options are a u i d a i b e p f o c income tax india income tax of india e d n n b c a e none of this friends our senior bureau of uh, saurabh gar has been named as the new ceo of unique identification authority of india it is uidai so option a it is right answer so this bond this development is made as part of bureau craft reshuffle announced by center on on the last thursday so at present gar is serving uh, in his cadre as a state of odisha so he is a 1991 is batch officer so now the the appointment committee of cabinet has uh, received its final nod on the this appointment of gar as ceo of his uidai uida unique identification authority of india so usually uid is giving other so other no so this uh, now the appointment committee of this cabinet has received its final nod on this appointment of garg as ceo so uida in the rank and pay of additional secretary stated and are generated by the personal ministry said so prior to garg so ajay bhushan pande he was the ceo of this uida so now uh, our senior bureau cap to saurabh gar is going to be charge as uh, taken charge as a M, uh, ceo of this uida so you know this uh, our uh, earlier uh, prior to garg ajay bhushan pande you now he was named as the new finance secretary you now so we read in last session so now uid uh, ceo name is saurabh garg now next question says uh, name the new uh, wholly owned subsidiary set up by public sector bank punjab national bank to manage its non financial support services for credit card businesses so name the new wholly owned subsidiary set up by public sector bank punjab national bank to manage its non finance support services for credit card business so for this we will see the options options are a punjab e cards limited option b punjab e services limited option c punjab cards india limited option d punjab cards and services limited friends right answer is it is punjab cards and services limited so it is a wholly owned subsidiary of our punjab national bank our public sector punjab national bank so it is handling credit cards and non finance support services so this subsidiary company handling all credit card transactions credit card services as well as non finance services supporting services to that punjab national bank customers on the right answer is option d it is punjab cards and services now the question says which multinational telecom telecommunications company 
in a partnership with Microsoft, Amazon Web Services and Google to develop 5G radio solutions. I repeat the question once again, which multinational company, which multinational telecommunication company in partnership with Microsoft, Amazon Web Services and Google to develop 5G radio solution. Which is the options? Options are these are the multi multinational telecommunications companies. So option A it is Reliance, option B Samsung, option C Nokia, option D T Mobiles, in none of these. Friend, right answer is option C it is Nokia and Nokia in a partnership with Microsoft, Amazon Web Services and Google to develop 5G radio solutions. That is, so it will be developed within with the help of this Nokia's uh, radio access network RAN technology. So these three companies have tied up with this Nokia so for developing this 5G radio solutions. So if, I, if you want to know about this 5G, 5G is about to connecting things everywhere. So while enabling new use cases, so it is a uh, 5G radio access network it uses uh, 5G radio frequencies to provide wireless connectivity to devices to deliver these uh, incredible applications. So it is more faster than 4G. It is advanced technology of 4G. So now 5G phones are coming now. So these three companies are working on this 5G. Let's say just to remember this Nokia in a partnership with Microsoft, Amazon Web Services and Google to develop this 5G radio solutions. That's it. That is enough. Now next question says which insurance company launched the non-linked participating individual saving plan um, budget plus plan recently. So which insurance company has launched uh, this savings plan, saving plan, the plan name is Bachat Plus Plan. Which insurance company has launched this Bachat uh, Plus Plan? Now which is options, options are A. Life Insurance Corporation of India, LIC, B. United Indian Insurance, UIACL, C. New India Insurance Company, D. Max Life Insurance Company, in none of this. Friends, this Bachat Plus, uh, it is launched by our LIC. Life Insurance Corporation of, India, Corporation of India, our state owned insurance company. So, this budget plus it is a non linked participating individual saving plan. Uh, plan. So, it offers uh, protection and saving features by providing financial support for the family of deceased policy holders any time before maturity period. So the main concept, uh, the main uh, feature of this uh, budget plus plan is uh, it offers protection and saving feature by providing financial support to, to family members who are deceased persons. Which is they are saying it offers one lakh of minimum basic sum assured with no upper limit. So it comes with a maturity period around five years. So the basic idea I want to know about this budget plus you just google it and I am, 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 am giving this basic idea so uh, the policy amounts the basic sum the, base, the basic sum measure will be minimum 1 lakh and that maturity period is 5 lakh that you need to remember and when it comes to starting part of this question uh, the LIC so LIC is headquarters Mumbai and present chairman of LIC his name is Yamar Kumar J. So, MR Kumarji is the present chairman of every LIC. And if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my Invoking YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification to your mobile. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Jai Hind.